To simplify this expression, many students are tempted to multiply top and bottom by radical 8k. But if you think about it for a minute, we can make the numbers smaller, your work easier, and you're more likely to get the right answer. The radicand in the denominator, 8k, can be factored as 2 times 2 times 2 times k. And you just need another factor of 2 and k to make it a perfect square, don't you? So that's what we'll multiply top and bottom by, radical 2k. All right, multiplying the numerator straight across, you get 10 radical 2k over the square root of 16k squared, which is a perfect square, and that's what we wanted. The square root of 16k squared is 4k. One more step, and we're done. Both the numerator and denominator have a factor of 2, which divides out. And there's our final answer. 5 radical 2k over 2k. Now let's use a graphing calculator table to verify our work. I've entered our original expression into the calculator as y1 and our answer into the calculator as y2. Let's go to a table and see if for every value of the input variable x, the outputs y1 and y2 are the same. And they are, so I feel good about our work.